Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to Trigger Time TV. I'm your host, Mike Lamb. Today's episode, we're gonna start off with three-time world speed shooting champion, Max Michelle. Max is gonna to talk to us about making the most of our time at the range and how we can get more out of it. Hey, I'm Max Michelle, national and world speed shooting champion. And today we're talking about how to practice. There's a lot of different thoughts out there. You know, most of us just throw their ammo in the back of the truck, throw the guns in the back of the truck, and we head out there to the range. Unfortunately, it's not the best plan and not the best, you're not giving yourself the best opportunity to excel. So what I try to do in my training programs is actually set up a plan on what I'm weak at. Now, when you go out to the range, no one wants to train what they're weak at, right? Because everybody wants to see positive results. So instead of looking for those positive results, let's use the previous competition or maybe your previous practice session where you saw where you had your problems at and implement that into your training program. And that's what we're gonna call it. So I want you to set up yourself where you say, okay, I'm gonna shoot 300 rounds or I have an X amount of rounds to go through and I have X amount of time to do it on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or two days this week, whatever the case is, however serious you wanna make it, and actually sit down with a pen and paper and write that down. Write down your thoughts, write down what you wanna work on, what you think you need to work on, and then go out to the range. And when you see those weak areas, those weak areas should then be in your training program for the next week. But what I'm gonna give you guys here today is a couple of good training drills that you can use in your training program, whether it be for your stance, grip, recoil management, draw, follow-up shots, whatever the case is, accuracy. It's just several different opportunities for you to work on many, many different things here. So my first drill is what I have is triple six. I'm gonna draw and engage the first target with six rounds, holster, second target with six rounds, and my third target with six rounds. They're placed at five yards, 10 yards, and 15 yards away. I'll then take my total time, and every time I shoot out of the A zone, I'm going to add time to my score, penalizing myself. And the final drill I'm going to do is what I call 20 alpha. Now obviously the goal is to shoot 20 A's, all A zone hits. Anything less than an A zone is a miss. However, I'm looking for 90 to 95% accuracy. So I'm looking for 16 to 17 A's when I get downrange to that target. And now that, on that particular drill, I'm giving myself what we call a part time. So I'm going to use my trusty timer, which never lies here. And I'm going to give myself the beep signal, which tells me to go. And the second beep is then going to give me the opportunity to say, I better be done my shooting at this point. Something that's going to push myself, I can still make the A's if I do it properly, but push myself to get faster. And we'll see what it looks like. First up is triple six. Six rounds into target one. Stand by. Okay, that was 1.69 seconds. Have one hit in the Charlie, so that 1.69 now becomes a 1.89. Going to the second target. 10 yards, stand by. Okay, that was a 2.09, all A's. So now I'm at, we'll call it a 2.10 oh, and a 1.9. So now for my last target here. Six rounds into the back target. Stand by. All right, looks like I got them all in there again. That was a 2.38 for a total time of a rough estimate of about 6.4 seconds, about 6.4 seconds to shoot that total run. Now what I'm gonna do before we go down there and score it and make sure I'm not lying to you guys, is my next favorite drill, 20 alpha. It's four separate strings. This time I'm gonna give myself three seconds, three seconds to draw and shoot five shots, four separate times. Stand by. Plenty of time, plenty of time. That was 2.30 seconds, so I made it, no problem. Three more strings, stand by. seconds, so we still got a little bit extra time to play with there. So if I have any bad hits down there, I got nobody to blame but myself. Here we go, two more strings. Okay, 2.41 again, and for the last string, stand by. All right, it was 2.34 seconds. So everyone clearly made it under three seconds. Let's walk down range and check out the hits. Now, as you recall, the first string was triple six. I did 6.4 seconds total time. Now I have one Charlie here. And for that, I'm gonna penalize myself two tenths of a second. Two tenths of a second. So now what that's gonna give me is a 6.8 seconds at the moment. All A zone hits here, no issues whatsoever. And for my last target, 
All A zone hits here, no issues here. So a total time of 6.6 .6 to 6.8 seconds on that first run. Now on the last string of fire, you remember it was 20 alpha. I had four separate strings to so go ahead and shoot in under three seconds, five separate targets. Five separate strings of fire. Now all 20 alphas there, successful. Remember, we're looking for 90 to 95% A's at all times. So when you're talking about how to practice and how to train, if you don't know what you're doing or you don't have an opportunity to, to get somebody to work with someone that's better than you, take these drills, get out there, make a plan, and work on something and get better at what you love to do. Get out there and get shooting. Trigger Time TV is brought to you by Raven Concealment System, Troy Industry, Troy Defense, Seekins Precision, Aries Gear, Dark Angel, MGM, Taxi, Keltec, R Bros, Pro Ears, Yeti, Midland, Wiley X, EOTech, Black Hills, Bushnell, Trigicon, Dawson Precision, WW Guns, and Up Armored 9.